Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we are going to learn about iOS device specific profile types for certificates. You do have your trusted certificate, SEP certificate, PKCS certificate, and the PKCS imported certificate. And we're going to cover these four topics in one lecture, which is this. And uh, to begin with that, uh, you can uh, go to the Microsoft Intune portal directly and then um, uh, go to device configuration and profiles and create a profile and give a meaningful name here for example certificate and you can choose here as iOS and remember that the specific of these uh, four different settings uh, starting from trusted certificate to PKCS imported certificate this configuration is quite same on all of these uh, platforms so there's no uh, difference uh, wherever you find it for example if I go to Windows 10 or later this configurations will be there and if you can see here trusted configuration that's a trusted certificate and uh, uh, and also you have uh, PKCS imported PKCS uh, certificate and SEP certificate all these four of them are quite same and there's no other uh, menu configurations difference and let's jump into the iOS specific because we are dealing with iOS specific now. Let's go ahead and configure the trusted root certificate. If you have the set file, you can simply upload from here by clicking here and then go to your set file, for example, like this, and it will be uploaded. And then you can click on OK so that the certificate, which is a trusted certificate profile, is created. And if you want to configure other settings, uh, for example, here, uh, sub certificate or a PKCS certificate, PKCS input certificate. Let's have a look on that, how to configure those. Uh, SEP certificate stands for Simple Certificate Enrollment Process, uh, which requires Active Directory uh, domain, as well as you, you need to have Microsoft Enterprise Certificate Authority, and that must be uh, Enterprise Edition of Windows Server or later operating systems, uh, like starting from 2008 R2, uh, and it can be anything uh, above, uh, but it must be at least Enterprise or Data Center. And coming back to the standalone uh, CA is not supported. Uh, and once you have configured all this uh, certificate authorities on your Windows server, then you need to configure something called NDES server. NDES stands for Network Device Enrollment Service. Uh, it, it's a role uh, you need to know support, but uh, unfortunately, Microsoft Intune doesn't support using NDES and a server that runs, uh, that also runs as an enterprise CA. So you need to configure as a separate server, uh, at least uh, it should be the base operating system as Windows Server 2012 R2. Uh, to host that uh, NDES server role and once you configure that certificate uh, server role you can you know create your certificates and give here whether that certificate was created for uh, what kind of you know purpose uh, for example here I can I can look at here for the client authentication or securing the email purpose uh, and this is uh, for the device or user specific uh, certificate and give a common name uh, or subject name here uh, would be the common name or whatever the IME number or what basis you're gonna you know uh, authenticate or or get this certificate to be run and also give the uh, subject alternative name based on the email or European ID you can choose any of them and the certificate validity key uses all that information once you have filled uh, you can apply the required certificate uh, so that sub configuration can be completed similarly you also have the um, uh, PKCS certificate as Microsoft Intune supports the use of private and public key paid certificates, which is nothing but PKCS certificate, this uh, will help you to you know, configure the required uh, infrastructure like on-premises certificate connection, and then you can export a PKCS certificate, and then you need to add that uh, certificate to Intune device configuration profile. Uh, that way, that uh, devices will have that specific certificate, and also you can configure uh, this uh, certificates are useful for access and authentication to your uh, organization resources as well as the certificate authenticates and secures access to the corporate uh, resources like uh, maybe a VPN or example Wi-Fi network you can deploy these uh, settings uh, with the definitely Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi as well as the VPN related uh, configurations can be uh, used here and you can deploy with the help of uh, creating a profile here what you can do is uh, with the uh, a PKCS certificate you can 
actually configure here renewal threshold when you want to know automatically renew and then certificate validity period uh, authority uh, name all that information once you have filled uh, you can um, go back to the uh, import uh, imported certificate and here you can import that specific certificate also for the email config configuration or uh, maybe for the signing purpose and then you can you know configure that specific settings once you configure that specific settings uh, these two uh, configurations are completed uh, because PKCS as well as PKCS. To configure PKCS certificates, which is nothing but public key and pair uh, certificates, uh, you need to uh, fulfill few of the uh, requirements so that you can use this configuration for your VPNs or Wi-Fi networks. Uh, to do that, you need to have the domain controller, which is in your on-premises, and then you need to have the enterprise CA, uh, and then you need to configure your CA. Uh, it's not supported by the standalone CA as we discussed earlier, and uh, also few of the clients definitely uh, to test your Wi-Fi connection, and uh, you need to export your root certificate, and then uh, you need to uh, configure. Uh, something called um, Intune Certificate Connector uh, and once you configure that uh, specific certificate connector uh, to do that uh, what you have to do is actually go to the device configuration let me show you that let me go back to Microsoft Intune and then device configuration and you have here the certificate uh, connector which is nothing but here you need to add that uh, uh, Intune certificate uh, uh, connector uh, to do that you need as a first step you need to install this and followed by uh, you need to install the specific software and then uh, then automatically the required all these steps once you follow all these steps uh, it's going to be you no know, configure your uh, certificate post to that you need to you know uh, go to PFX certificate connector and then uh, to do that actually uh, in this here once you add it here uh, you need to uh, import that specific certificates as a trusted certificates uh, to do that you also have to configure uh, by creating another profile from the device configuration and profiles uh, create some other profile for the only uh, specific to the uh, root CA and once you have done here for example if I take it this is uh, specific to iOS or maybe Windows uh, the specific settings are the almost same like you can choose the uh, root certificate here and you can import that uh, root certificate once you have done that certificate now the PK, uh, PKC certificate to be you know, created um, like uh, let me show you once again here uh, if I choose iOS and then I can go to the PKC certificate here I need to give here the renewal uh, threshold for example 20% uh, is uh, what uh, Microsoft recommends and then you can uh, give the uh, value of the uh, validity period uh, which is maybe one or maybe five years of that certificate validity and all these uh, values you need to fill out uh, once you have filled out then you can create the specific um, profile and you can also import the certificate previously uh, created which is this uh, certificate from uh, from the imported certificate step and then that specific certificate can be reused that's how you're gonna you know um, use this uh, entire uh, PKCS as well as the connector uh, relevant uh, relevant uh, configurations to be done thank you for watching this